Hello guys, welcome to another video about Tomb Raider facts. This time I share with you what I've found about Tomb Raider 2, so let's begin. It is believed that the big guy that appears in the Opera House level is the same guy that appears in the last level on Lara's home, and the bandage that he has in one of his arms may be a reference to the damage he took from the previous fight with Lara. Did you also knew that you can trap him in the freezer, just like Winston, in the last level? In one of the Tibet levels, the one in the monastery, some eyes in the walls move. And that's kind of creepy when you notice it. In the first level, the Great Wall, we can reach the top of one of the guard towers. You just need to go through this path that I'm showing now. The Maria Doria levels were initially named the Titanic. It's also believed that Maria Doria is a name inspired by the Andrea Doria that sinked in the North Atlantic and was also Italian. In the secret basement or trophy room in Laura's home, there is a place with a book that in the PC version has an idol from Tomb Raider 1 and in the PlayStation 1 version, it's just books. Bartoli has red eyes, which is very creepy. He does kind of look like a demon. There are also other enemies with red eyes, but they seem to be from their googles. But Bartoli is really his eyes, as you can see in this image. In the last level, the trucks have the word Cult 1 in their license plate. In the Opera House level, we can find the poster of Bartoli's father. When Bartoli stabs himself, if you look closely, you will see that what he has in his hand doesn't look like the dagger. Maybe that was the first design for the dagger? It kinda looks like a spike. So weird. Did you ever notice that in the cover of the game, the pistol in one of the oldsters is in the wrong position? I wonder why, because it's really weird. If you are like me that dislikes time doors, you are going to like this one. In the final part of Venice, before pressing the button to open the final and time door, leave the boat out of the room with that button. After pressing the button, swing below the door that now is closed. And now you can drive the boat to the door with all the time in the world because the door will not close. What triggers the time limit is actually the ramp. You can also swing if you don't want to use the boat. The jacket that Laura uses has two symbols, one in each arm, that are from the Second World War. One of them is the Eight Hair Force and the other one is a rabbit with a bomb. The woman that is in Bartoli's plane is Barbella from a movie. The statues that are next to the button in the labyrinth in Laura's home are the same ones that you find in Tomb Raider 1 in the city of Vilcabamba. In the level wreck of Maria Doria, there are some enemies that have a red cap with the name Joss in it. That is the name of the guy that created the character models. In the first level before using the zipline, you can go down to get a secret and find two T-Rexes. I was really surprised when I found a T-Rex and I got even more surprised, kind of panicked, when I saw the second one. At least we didn't need to fight them at the same time, so it wasn't that bad. Do you know the reason why Lara explodes when you do cheat codes wrong? That is because that code was made to make fun of people that thought it was a code to get Lara naked. I would love to see the reactions of people that use that code, thinking it would do that. The wetsuit that Lara uses has the name of a real company that sells wetsuits. 
In Tomb Raider Anniversary, it was replaced by a symbol of a legacy of Cain, probably because of copyright reasons. And those were all the things that I've managed to find about Tomb Raider 2. I hope you discovered new things and had fun watching this video. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like. It helps a lot my channel to reach more people. And also subscribe for more videos. I'm also going to leave in the description a link to my Instagram so that you can follow if you are interested. And also because sometimes YouTube doesn't show my videos. So yeah. Until next time. Bye bye.